Welcome back to the Almost Friday podcast, guys. Before we get into it, we have massive news. Big. This podcast is now presented by Jose Cuervo. Liam. Cuervo is the original tequila, okay? Tradicional. They help us out with, they sponsor our stand-up shows. They get the party started at the Friday Beers Asia. They do. It's all about fast-forwarding friendships and the tequila. It's 100% tequila. It's super smooth. It's the best tequila you can buy. It actually is. Yeah, genuinely. it really is. And it's awesome. It just makes, this partnership just makes sense. Yeah. And we appreciate them supporting us, supporting our little guys it's, at the Friday Beers office. And it's great for shots, too. Just get a high energy vibe going. Let's mm-hmm. do some shots. Jose Cuervo, what, do you, what else are you going to take? But thank you very much to Cuervo Tequila. Uh, let's get into this episode. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. Luke Null. Here to serenade you. Welcome back to the Almost Friday Podcast. I'd like to welcome y'all to camp. This summer's gonna be fun. You got dreams of kissing someone in the sunset. I bet this summer will be the one. You're about to make some lifelong friends. Like Carolyn and Stinky Jake. <laughs> and Jenny in Bunk 7. And the monster that lives inside the lake. <laughs> the monster in the lake. Y'all don't need to be afraid of the teenager eating monster in the lake. <laughs> As long as you're a virgin, he won't consume your face. He only likes the way the dirty ones taste. (laughs) He only likes the way the slutty ones taste. We'll have s'mores by the campfire. Relay races in the mud. Sacrificial offerings of the unclean As we (laughs) chant naked, covered in their blood (laughs) The monster thinks virgins taste bland But they all taste the same to me I'm talking about human meat There's something about fucking That serves as monster MSG It's a little seasoning (laughs) <laughs> if you simply must come to summer camp and fuck Doing it on the docks is a mistake Don't do it <laughs> You're kind of asking for it Go do it in the forest Otherwise you're kind of shoving it in his face And I'm talking about the monster by the lake Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you so much. Welcome to camp, everyone. Welcome, Welcome back, Luke. back. Welcome back to the Almost Friday Podcast. Welcome back, Luke. Good to be Burke. That was excellent. You're Definitely. our first repeating guest, I think. Is that true? Yes. Oh my gosh, I'm going to do a lot of callbacks. Mm. You should. Yeah, for all, the, for all you loyal listeners out there, I'm about to do a bunch of stuff that only you guys are going to get. Like this voice. I did that in the first. What have you been doing? The only thing that I've been doing since the last time we spoke is... I went. I drove back from the studio, from this mm-hmm. place, to my house, um, where I have no furniture. Um, it just um, a milk crate and a calendar, and I sat on my milk crate, and I fasted, and I watched the days go by, the sun come up, the sun go down, and I went, when w- when will boys have me back? <laughs> and calendar pages were just flying off. Wait, time out, real quick. Can you hear that, Emily? Yeah, I'm telling them to shut up. <sighs> this studio sucks. It is. It's bad. <sighs> Soundproof. It's a, My ass. It's a bad place to have a podcast. It has the most exposure to the entire office of any room in the entire place because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven windows. It does feel as though this is the most centrally located room in the office. Uh-oh, that's going to be a problem. That's a social faux pas. A little bit of a faux pas. I start never... the counter, Emily. And start the counter. Here, one, hit the buzzer. One social faux pas. 
you get three. Wow. And then Liam, if you get to three, Liam's going to smoke crack until he dies. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a party foul. How much do you think it would take? I don't know. Can Tell you me when to stop. Tell me when to stop. <laughs> Tell me when to stop. Tell me when to stop. Do you OD on crack? I don't even yeah. know what it is. You can OD on crack yeah. for sure. You're going to have a great night beforehand. I guess, right? You can OD on coke. You can OD, oh, yeah. OD on crack cocaine. Isn't Adderall basically crack? Essentially. <laughs> prescription crack. Yeah. And I love it. And I've had a prescription since 2014. For I'm crack, happy to share that. Crack cocaine. Yeah, it makes your um, it makes your heart race real fast and makes you want to um, organize your closet. <laughs> That's great. And I need it to function as a human being in civil society, which is true. Wasn't there someone in here that was telling us they accidentally smoked crack? Was that on this pod? Yeah, I think so, but I don't know who. Listeners, I don't know. Leave it in the comments. I watched uh, my first job I ever had was at. Um, Papa John's and there was one time I was at a lunch shift and it was just me and Kevin who was studying to be a massage therapist he was a manager <laughs> there and I didn't know how to toss dough yet and Kevin's like I gotta take a break I gotta go smoke and I was like okay and I'm, we're getting a bunch of calls at lunchtime and like I don't know what I'm doing I, I need Kevin's help I only know how to sauce and topping and the rest of the way and so I went out back and I caught him smoking I had, by this point, smoked weed, so I knew what weed smelled like, and that wasn't weed. Burns your nostrils. It, it was, it, yeah. It was an intense thing, and he was doing it out of a little metal pipe, too. <laughs> Not that you can't smoke weed out of a metal pipe, you can. Mm -hmm. um, but it was something that wasn't weed, and I caught him, and it felt very, like I caught him having sex or something. It was very un it, 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 cool. Did you say anything, or you just I went, I need help! And he eventually came in, and... He did help me out, and then after a minute, there was a minute where, like, we had a counter, and he kind of tamped down where all the delivery bags were. He tamped it down, and he laid down for a few minutes <laughs> <laughs> in the delivery bags. And I was just like, <laughs> I'm like 15 or something. I'm just like, oh, no, I don't know. I don't think you can sleep on crack, though. That's, I think crack's a yeah. Oh, yeah. upper. That's awesome. Good time. Yeah, I think crack is like... That's, that's like how those people stay up for like 72 hours you see running around, right? I know if I needed nothing. to stay up, if I needed to stay up real long, crack. <laughs> <laughs> I smell crack, you can jack off for hours. Yeah, can you come harder on crack? I've heard so. You can, your, lo your load's almost, it's exponential. I have a question. Yep. Has anyone ever here ever taken Viagra or... Penis pills of any sort? No, I have what? not. Why would you ask? I do. I did jokingly take one of those like rhino pills at the gas station. Oh, that's God. like a, it's nothing. Like there's, it's like vitamin B or something. Like there's, it's not a thing. But I remember thinking, I remember it being kind of a thick pill to swallow. Well, it comes with like the packaging alone is you think that it's going to make your penis like triple the size. And, and it's got like a big <laughs> elephant with big tusks. <laughs> My, yeah, exactly. And a really good, they spell things with a Z and extra X's, like Max, Rhino Max with six X's. Mm -hmm. And then your dangler just stays the same. You just get, you just get normal hard and you, you know, normal, normal. This is going to hurt her. This is going to hurt you to get hard. <laughs> You're going to get so hard that you you run out of blood in your brain. <laughs> You're going to take this and then drive and then pass away. <laughs> Hope Your you brain's like gonna it. die. I think though, an underutilized marketing strategy by a lot of like, we're a cool brand is like if you genuinely want like early twenties guys to purchase a product, just be like, hey, it make it make your dick bigger or it make <laughs> you fuck better, because then it, it could be anything. It could be like Liberty Insurance. Yeah, hey, you get it. Have, it have, makes you fuck better. Have you seen the <laughs> ads for uh, Hims? Yeah, it's, it's like this. Yeah. This like, um, what do you call it? Like, uh, uh, I don't even know. But there's always like a disclaimer that it's like not real. Like, it's not a real doctor prescribing it to you. And they also have like, isn't it for him? Well, it's is that what it's called? For him? I thought it was. I could be wrong. Well, they their products are. I went and looked into it. Um, it's like hmm. Viagra and antidepressants, and they're not. It's not like a real doctor prescribing it. You know what? I, was, I don't know how. <laughs> I don't. There's oh, you know, hit the button. 
That's two. Sorry, Sorry Emily. Just, well, I was doing my job. I wanted to pull up four hymns for you on the... Because it was four hymns. Go to their website. Yes, it is. Um, and thank you, This is you, not this sponsored, is by the way. Is well, obviously, we're him? shitting on it. But if you'd like to sponsor us for hymns... That's hilarious. <laughs> Unregulated okay, which, which, anxiety. And I want to look Choose right your category. Door. Erectile dysfunction, hair loss, anxiety and depression, early climax. Let's skin go hair. anxiety and depression. All, all of those. Okay, why? Do, if you're gonna lie to people with a fake supplement, tell them it does all of it. Yeah. Well, oh, they, I guess they're making more money by selling different things that do nothing. No, they combine it into one. Oh, pill. this is wanting oh. you to. It's really the, just. It's gonna give you an evaluation. You're gonna answer. See, they say provider evaluation. They don't say like doctor evaluation. You know what I was noticing on all of these uh, medication commercials yeah. is that every single one. There's a black man playing the drums on buckets. And There's a decent amount of uh, street drumming guys in like <laughs> uh, Rex Celsi, whatever, <laughs> we make up a name. And I don't know why. Every single time. Uh, are you guys familiar with like Manchurian Candidate? What, what, what that means when you say someone's a Manchurian Candidate? Manchurian Candidate? I know. Uh, um, like uh, what that means is like you have been you are a spy or a sleeper cell in another country and you don't even know that you are oh. and there's like a secret code word that they have to say to activate you as a, a Manchurian candidate to like then your lizard brain takes over and you like kill the president or yeah. whatever but like I always think when I see some of those fucking prescription commercials where you're like what is this even for they don't even say what this treats mm -hmm. they're just like are you having a hard time? <laughs> Propalspa will help you. <laughs> Propalspa will help you. Ask your doctor about Propalspa. Propalspa. You know? And I'm like, one of these has to be just an activation for like <laughs> Russian sleeper cells of just like, you know, whatever. There's a, there's a great family guy cutaway where it's like, they're joking about like what the activating term is for like Peter to become like a Russian guy and kill the president. And it's like a Manchurian candidate, if you will. Yeah. Boy, that Italian family sitting next to us is awful quiet. <laughs> he like, gets up and he just like starts killing everyone. Man, Family Guy. We should just talk about Family Guy. And just play let's Family just Guy dish. clips on this whole thing. Freaking dish. All right, keep scrolling, Emily. What do they got? Um, unfortunately, this mouse just stopped working. So this fucking studio blows. Oh, don't be rude. We just—it looks beautiful. It, it looks, looks nice, but it's like if you guys could see our view, it's we. I look like a. It's it's Afghanistan this way. Yeah. Yes, beautiful. You can see there. Okay, they can this see is your... this is like Dubai, and this is everything around Dubai. Okay, over here. Is so, that are you calling me ugly over here? Well, women wouldn't even be allowed anywhere near here in this scenario in Dubai. Well, they got that policy. I don't think they like women over there. Yeah, they is should... that right? Yeah, they don't want them driving. That's for sure. I don't know. I love I, to drive. I don't. I don't know anything. I don't know. Much. I'm just having a hard time. <sighs> it's hard being alive, dude. Yeah, yeah, we've we've had a tough couple weeks on the pod. Have you guys? Yeah, yeah. Getting Dish. a lot of getting a lot of DMs begging us not to, uh, you know, any self harm or anything. Like that. Mm -hmm. So thank you. We're still here. Okay. Have you noticed that, like, whenever you're cruising and scrolling on on whatever platform you choose, mm -hmm. that like you can't say do you wanna. You have to say KYM. Uh, you have to say unalive. That's what the kids say. Unalive yourself. To me, I understand you don't want to. You're still implying the same thing, though. So mm -hmm. to me, is the literally the word kill is not allowed? Is that what flight? You yeah, know what I mean? it's it's the kill. Anything with the word kill, like you, if you said kill the lights, you would be suppressed. I think so. Yeah. Wow. We were. I didn't know that. I thought it was more they were worrying about the sentiment. It's like what you were talking about, like just the word Lincoln bio mm. is axed. If you put that, it's going to suppress a video. Oh, is like, that why we, everyone, we all say Lincoln bio? Yes. You're, yeah, if you put link mm. in bio, they're like, oh, we don't want you leaving this app because the only thing we're trying to get you to do is stay on this app longer and show you more ads. I remember when I first started using TikTok, I was looking up like a list of five things that TikTok suppresses to try to avoid. Sure. And um, two of the five, I'm not kidding, were like ugly people yeah, well. and disabled people. <laughs> so they well, just, good luck. They just didn't want disabled people <laughs> popping up on the app. So good luck. They failed. That's uh, my entire feed. <laughs> I was going to say, it's like, I feel like every DM I get from you guys is like <laughs> people yeah. that are really having a hard time. I am responsible for phone. my own algorithm. I take full responsibility <laughs> for it and I carefully 
like a little kitten massaging its mommy's teeth for more milk, <laughs> I have made sure never to like something legitimately funny. <laughs> I only want people who are having a tough time. I want people who are out of their fucking gourd doing <laughs> sketch comedy without a single joke. I want uh, my very favorite lane. I do love grandpas and grandmas who are just being cute and sweet. Mm. I do like that's, which is, <laughs> it's a fun feed to yeah. get like, but I also love people who fight with their comments and do the video react yes. to just their comments. Oh. Like I love, there's nothing I love more than a guy like that lady, uh, that lady going right down the barrel being like, whoever's sending me ladybugs, <laughs> quit sending me live ladybugs. I don't know what to do with all these ladies. And then she like shows <laughs> yeah. the ladybugs and she's like, someone's sending me cups of ladybugs. I don't want more cups of ladybugs. Stop sending me like <laughs> cups of ladybugs. But it's like, oh, oh, we should, but if you yeah. keep showing the ladybugs, yeah. The people that sent them are accomplishing what their goal, which is get you to we sh- yeah. show the ladybugs. Yeah. We should play this. Our friend Elise Gilfoyle is so funny. Will you go on her Instagram, uh, the Facebook Live rant she does? Yeah, those are awesome. Oh, she does like a, a like a woman doing a Facebook Live, but also saying hello to her it's, friends it's that are joining. So, it. it's, it's so funny. Big fan of that. Keep. Oh, uh, it's. I think it's uh, the one on the bottom right there. I thought she was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's wearing a wig in it. I think. Oh crap! Oh boy! Oh, crap. All right, all right. So, up, um, it, an instant follow for me is if I see a video, and every single comment has a video reply. Yeah, that that person is not doing good. No, nope. like I saw one where this guy was like a forty year old musician. Like all he did was just music, like trying to produce it. And I follow so many of those guys. <laughs> so many of them are like, it's like you should quit your job. Like your parents probably want you to kill yourself. And he's like, unalive, you think unalive. these comments affect me? Like you're sad. Like dude, I feel bad for you. And it's that same reply to every single comment. And I love that to do videos where you're basically just saying the same thing Mm -hmm. to every video is good. I like that. (laughs) It makes me real sad. Another quick follow for me, if somebody uses TikTok or Instagram to be like, Hello, my name is Brian. I'm 39 years old. I'm looking for uh, a 30 year old woman who will step on my nutsack with high heels, <laughs> puncture holes in my nutsack, spit in my mouth, call me a bitch, or whatever. Like, like anytime they're like using it as a dating profile in any way, follow. <laughs> Love that. Want to follow this journey? Want to see if you find someone? Is it ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hit, hit play. Oh, I'm live. <laughs> Alyssa Minette here. Um, you know who will never be seeing me again is the Bushwick food line. I'm shaking <laughs> like a leaf. I'm mad as hell. I have said it before. They were at the tip of my list. They're off it. I'm done. I have done it with the bag charge. Went in again today. Did not have a tote bag. I don't have any tote bags. And they say 10 cents a bag. I say I'm done with it. And I'm, oh, Christine, come on in. I'm going to get Christine. Come on in. Oh, and thanks for joining. I am done with the Bushwick food line. Oh, Dale, come, come on in. Really good to see you in here. Thanks for joining. I am done with the Bushwick food line. <laughs> Lisa, good to see you in here. Today I came in, post cycling, didn't have my shoes, couldn't place my shoes, told me to go. Hey, Kiki, come on in. <laughs> oh, Kiki, what a blast from the past. What is loyalty? <laughs> it's so fucking good. That's awesome. I like that you guys have uh, the ability to watch videos because now that's activated a part of my brain that's only going to go down a very dark, oh. bad place. Mm. Emily? <laughs> Do it. Pull it up. Pull it up. Go on Go on YouTube. I just want to show the guys something. Oh, gonna, no. I want okay. to show you something good, and then we can stop. No, we can do whatever we want. Type in J-R-H-N-B-R. <laughs> this is going to suck. Uh, we don't want the H3. We want the, we want the second. We want the second video. And here's the thing. Is it going to seem long? Maybe we don't need to watch the whole no, thing. No, we'll watch the whole thing. And But I want you guys to watch this because I know you'll enjoy it. And, and I want to bef- preamble this. This video is not a joke. This is not a bit. This is a documentary that they made in Canada. Okay. I hate this. What does it stand for? J-R-H? Uh, you'll see. <laughs> in, in the clip. And I'm guessing the first J is Jankum. That would be a good so. guess. You'd be wrong. Oh, hello. Hello, bud. Hello, pretty boy. Full screen. Sweetie. Easy, easy. Cool. Mm-hmm. Please do come visit. No, no. Hey, baby. Do they jerk the horse? No, pretty one. Hello. 
Wow. Now this is a rush. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh my a God, piece they're of like. Ecstasy. This is the most incredible turn on. I don't approach like this. No, you don't. Incredible turn on. JRH and JRH NBR. Just the right height. No bucket is required. I happen to have a pony mare that is JRH NBR. And that's really nice because you're not trying to do a balancing act standing on something. At that moment of orgasm, for lack of a better word, the two souls actually merge and touch, albeit for a brief instant. And it is the, it's humbling. And yet it is, it's so intense, it's rejuvenating. Mm -hmm. Mares do orgasm. Yes, they do. Oh, oh my mare fucking orgasms. God. And when a mare orgasms, um, a lot of times, well, they, they will, you can feel their muscles tense up and they kind of <clears throat> oomph, for, for lack, lack of a better word. What do you mean you can feel their muscles? Laurie and Michael were both sexually yeah. active with animals like, when okay, they well, married. The individual the could of children, feel it. They agreed to give up their animal feels passions. The the horse, but after a few uh, years, uh, Michael horses. found this too difficult. Yeah, this is good. I'm sorry. So they had kids and they decided when to quit, you wake he, up in the middle of the night and your husband's not there, <laughs> uh, the barn is rather close to the house. Um, you know, mm -hmm. for no reason. Okay, why is he out there? And <laughs> a wife usually knows. I wasn't aware that my wife was aware that I had reestablished my intimate relationship with, with my mayor. Um, my mayor. My mayor. My mayor. It, it, it was just, a, I was trying at that time to be true to myself and the loved ones in my life. Sure. Right. And that sometimes juggling those things is no small task. It was a very difficult situation. It's like, fine, you want to be with her, then be with her. So I would get resentful and remove myself out of the, you know, the triangle. Oh, my God. Come on, get out of the stickers. Don't worry, it ends happy, you, you guys. Because They're of the sexual that tension oh, she literally and the secrecy, that I wanted him to tell me. And so he started to pour all this out of the pain that he had gone through. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it became very honest. He told me about all the relationships. He really, for the first time, expressed how deeply he felt and how much his love was for horses. Here we go. Michael and Laurie agreed is. to bring back Michael's mares into their relationship. It's Here like we go. Dawn and she says, well, i got to come out and watch. <laughs> and I I'm went, like, oh. And I discovered, I've discovered that uh, in that respect, with the proper people, I'm not ashamed of that also. I was a bit intimidated because knowing how emotional my wife can be about some things, yeah, when you've had I thought, oh, gosh, she's if she loses it during this, this, is going, this can get ugly. But the neat thing was, was she came out and watched, and it was another opportunity to bring us all closer. Fuck you. And it's kind of interesting. She says, well... Um, can't have any other women. I'm going, well, I don't have an issue with that. Because women can make awesome friends. I enjoy speaking and visiting with women. But, but. Uh, overall, you stand a pretty woman and a pretty mare. I'll take the mare. I shared him with three <laughs> other horses. All. Oh, my God. That's all. He definitely shot his wife and kids. Yeah. There, the I've watched the full length of this, and there's, there's another how guy. How long is this? It, it's called Animal Passions. Uh, it's about people who have sex with animals. There's a guy who, he's the one that gets fucked by the horses, and his wife's like, I know he's at the barn having sex with the horses because he's got bite marks all over his back. Oh, my fucking God. Do you guys why, like that? Why did they need to come up with an abbreviation? J-R-H-M-B-R. It just saves time because you're talking about it so much. Just the right height. No bucket is required. Oh, dude. Shut up. I'm so sad. Can I just ask like the, the specifics of, like, what like, like how? What like is he putting He's his having sex penis with a horse. in yeah. the horse, or is the horse putting its? Well, it's a female, so so it a can't mare put, is a oh. lady horse. Oh, sorry. Uh, but there is another guy in the same documentary that it's the other way around. 
I'm yeah. so upset. It's a really <laughs> good time, and I'm just glad that I could share that with you guys. Thank you. I mean, really I've told upset. this story in the pod before, but uh, there was a boy in my town who was arrested for having sex with a horse. He threw a party. Uh, he didn't go to the public high school in town. He went to a different vocational high school. Uh, so he had a party at his house as a bit of an alibi, you could say. Snuck over to uh, a local horse stable. Uh, fucked a horse. They caught him on camera doing it. Yeah. And he's standing on? A stool of sorts or a chair. Bucket. And he had Replacement. Tied, yeah, he had tied You don't want to be doing a, a balancing act when you're making love. <laughs> no. no. I happen and to have a miniature. The biggest, uh, the biggest twist for me of the story, black dude. Mm. I think fucking animals is a white man's game. I really do. I think it's... I it is predominantly a white man's game. So it is nice to see. Yeah. Let's see. It's kind of like hockey in that regard. Yes. Yeah. It's nice. It's like... Uh, it's cool. Let everyone get in on it. You know, it's it's not... <laughs> yeah, doing that is bad, I th- in my opinion. I don't agree with it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you guys think of that? You guys glad I showed that to you on your I podcast? <laughs> when <laughs> you were quoting it, so you've seen it how many... Yeah, yeah, I, love, yeah. I love that video so much. I know every word of it. <laughs> no, no, no. He wasn't quoting it. He was reciting it. Oh, at the yes, in unison, as if he yeah. were singing his favorite song. Yeah. You guys well, don't know this, but I was valedictorian in my high school, and when I gave my graduation speech, it was just this word for word. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't aware um, that my wife was aware <laughs> that I had reestablish my intimate relationship with my mayor. No, dude, the best part is when he goes, and then my she what is he watched? Like, she my wife wanted to watch, and I was like, oh, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> what was that noise he made? Can you go back to it? Uh, it's a uh, we don't need to. No, it's I can do it exactly the way he does yes. it. He says, uh, she says she can come out and watch, and I'm like, oh, and I went, oh, yeah, that was it, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. knowing we're, how we're emotional going. my wife can be with we're some things, it's like. You mean about watching you have sex with a horse yeah. that she would get? This is a bad time for me to have to pee because people are going to think I'm going to go uh, we know. jerk off. If you hadn't said that, I would never have felt that. Right. No. Well, but I now do, I'm worried. I do have to pee, and I'll be back in a timely fashion. Hey, we're taking a quick break to talk to you about Arctic. Arctic has the best coolers and the best cups ever. They keep everything so cold. Go to arcticoutdoors.com. R-T-I-C, outdoors.com. Their merch is cool, too. You know what I like porn in here? Nobody knows. I pour a little Cuervo in there. Oh, you dirty dog. I walk around the office. Nobody knows any better. Shout out to ArcticOutdoors.com. <laughs> ArcticOutdoors.com. It's it's the best. Let's get back to the episode. All right. Well, uh, do you guys want to do... You got some characters? I got Maybe. some characters, but it would it will require one of you guys to... Yes. I'm All on, right. I'm All right. On. So I do have a character. This character's name is Fred Pfeffercorn. Ooh. No Fs. In it, and this is for Emily to have to when she edits. It's in spelled with all PHs. Good, all PHs. Fred Pfeffercorn, <laughs> uh, and Fred is going on uh, on a date with you. And I'm just Will. You're you. Well, you're 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 you're. A, I think you're a lady named like Lindsay or something. Okay. Oh my gosh, you are a breath of fr- fresh air. By the way, oh my like, god, because there's so many people like. That don't look like their picture. You look just like your picture. That's so nice. Yeah. Thank you. I, oh. It's so nice to meet you. I mean, um, it's nice to meet you too. Ah, these dates are always so awkward, but I just feel like this instant connection with you. I do too. Women are evil. Women are evil. Women have an agenda. Women are plotting against all of us. Women do not like me. Why don't women like me? Women are gay. Women are gay. Women are gay. My life be like. I have to take this. This is work. This is work. So I actually have to answer this. Hello? (laughs) It's just a voice memo that I sent as my fucking thing. But the the thing that I thought was funny was adding my life. (laughs) Which you can't really hear. Wait, which part? (laughs) At the very end, it cuts out and just goes, my life be like, ooh. (laughs) 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 Damn. Damn. (laughs) Lord, the city please come away. Fred Pfeffercorn. Fred Pfeffercorn. That was a hot start. Really hot hot start. start. William. That's great. All right, I got a good one. <clears throat> Give me some. I got to set it up real quick. Mm. Yeah, yeah. He's got to set mm. it up. Mm. So we're doing some hot characters, and he's getting into the bit, as we say in the biz. He's setting up. He's setting it up. He's kind of 
uh, we call this Meisner technique. He is using his own pain and trauma. Oh, well, trauma- are you looking for a piece? Yeah. It, I think I left it. I, I thought that was something else. So I left it in the hallway. I could probably hit you with it. It's <laughs> in the ring. It's on the ring light. You ever been hit by a man? No. <laughs> You've had an abortion, <laughs> now, right? now it works. My life be like, ooh, uh, <laughs> Dude, I was telling Liam. Women are gay. Well, women I think are, my favorite. <laughs> women are gay. I was telling Liam, I think my I favorite know. part of your SNL audition is when you're like, you're going to be like Trump's assistant. You're like, and I'm fucking crazy. Ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> like that part makes me laugh so hard every single time. So, so, so stupid. So fun. Were you nervous when you did that? Yeah. I would guess. I just, I don't know. I, uh, in a way that I've never, ever felt I could be as nervous as <laughs> that. Yeah. I don't think I'd be able to do it. It's, uh, I'd probably throw They up. intentionally want you to be very, very yeah, I've heard the... fucked up nervous. Okay, guys. So this is my character. Mm-hmm. This is, um, Larry Satellite. Ooh, cool. Okay. And I'm, uh, you were a third grade class. Cool. And it's career day. And I'm like, one of the dads coming in. What's up, guys? It's Koodlebug. Wait, I mean, sorry, I'm Larry Satellite. I'm Hawk's dad. Hey, Hawk, how you doing, buddy? Now, what do I do for work? I'm a Twitch streamer. What? Coolest dad on the planet. So what I do is I love to engage with the community. Uh, You know, people send me money to draw and play video games. Isn't that awesome? I'm live streaming right now. Hawk, say hi to the camera. I don't want to be on camera. Hi. Jesus Christ. The look on your son's eyes is so depressing. He clearly hates you. He's going to get bullied so hard after this. <laughs> Thanks for the donation, Mookie Bug. But guys, this is so awesome. I really do this eight hours a day. It's really that fun. And it... Sorry. Your wife's divorce lawyer just had the easiest case in his entire career fall in his lap. <laughs> you are such a pathetic excuse for a father. They will play this footage for a jury. Thanks, Princess P, for the $5. Anyway, guys, who wants to come on my stream tonight? We're going to be playing... Does your son know that you forgot to end the stream last night and everyone saw you rest an unloaded gun in your mouth for three hours? The safety was on. Who were you doing that for? (laughs) And tonight we're going to play some Fall Guys, so anyone can join in and... We're going to be doing some viewer research. Oh my god. The anime drawings you've been doing on live stream look exactly like the girl sitting next to your son. Dude, isn't she like 10 years okay. old? You're going to prison. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. Um, Are those your friends, Mr. Sal? I... <sighs> this is how I pay for Hawk's tuition. What's messed up is he only gets $5 a pop for each of those, and he makes like 500 k a year. So do the math. His mom hits me. My dad's a fireman. That'd be good. So. I love you, Hawk, and yeah, I want you to know I'm fighting real hard for custody. I want you guys to know that that's the first time he's ever said I love you, and he's only doing it because he has an audience, and he's streaming right now. Are you streaming? Are you live right now? Wait, hold on. Say that again. Nope, 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 nope. Sorry. Okay, that's it. That's Larry's. Ah, yeah, that was very nice. That was very nice. That was very nice. The only yeah, thing, the that. only thing I would have added to that is, ooh, ah, 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 my life is like that. My life be like that. <laughs> what is the actual artist's name? Grits. Is that real? Yeah. I yeah. thought that was like Pitbull or something. Nah. It, same vein. Same vein. Probably inspired by not Grits, though. Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Worldwide. Whoa, that actually weirdly sounded like... If I, if I was a girl, and I'm not, but if I had a vagina and I don't, I think my fetish would be that... Take a look. I would want to... Uh, it's like he's got some meat. I'd want to drag my vagina over Pipple's bald head. <laughs> <laughs> and just it's see. funny that you say that. Um, oh, go on. What? I used to have like weird obsessions with people like or characters. 
Um, and Pitbull is one of them. See what I said. <laughs> when you say weird, <laughs> what? When you say weird obsession, let's dig into that. What do you mean? Well, um, well, I don't really know, but another example would be like Bob the Builder was one. Again. Yeah, is I wanted a, to drag you, my vagina say, over said, Vernon Troyer. It's a sexual head. awakening is what you're saying you experienced. You, you were like, I'm attracted to this person or character, correct? <laughs> <laughs> I think I just like wanted Pitbull to be my dad. Like, Okay, so it's not necessarily sexual. Yeah, I just wanted to drag my vagina over <laughs> Stephen Hawking's <laughs> limb body. You guys know. See, you think it's limp? I feel like it was rigid as fuck. Rigor yeah, mortis style. It probably was hard. Yeah, I yeah. feel like it was. It probably felt like a wax statue. Or Muscles something. atrophied. It was a lot of bone. Oh, yeah, a lot God. of bone. Yeah. A lot of bone. Mm. I got a... I, you have one? Yeah, I'm sorry about the thing I said about the pit bull. That was not... That well, was... so wait, where was Bob the Builder then? Yeah, what <laughs> where happened? Where Bob the Builder come in? <laughs> where did Bob the Builder factor into I don't know. This? I like, just wanted to be... Different than anyone else. I wanted to like start my own trends and I just wanted to like be like the yeah, like yeah, pip, yeah, I'm obsessed with Pitbull. Like, I know you, like, yeah, like that's I don't just know. wanted to drag my vagina over Christopher Reeves after he <laughs> fell off that horse. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm a girl. What do you think? You could probably drag your vagina across Bob the Builder's um, ridged work helmet yeah. and oh, get yeah. some good pops on that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do your character. Um, okay. Uh, we're a group of friends. Luke, your name is Harry Leather. <laughs> um, Will, you're Levi Lump. And uh, you notice that it's 11 11, and you're jokingly just like, oh, 11 11, make a wish. You know, so we're hanging out, cool. just having a normal conversation, then you'll notice it. Man, oh, Ghostbusters 2, so good. So yeah, good. Yeah, I actually, I really like the reboot. Ooh, 11 11, make a wish. <laughs> um, yeah, I really like. Uh, what? Please, please. Okay. Please, fuck, please, fuck. Liam? Fuck, please. Please, fuck. <laughs> please, you, please. You... Please, please. <clears throat> oh, please. Fuck, please. <laughs> fuck you, please. Fuck. Fuck you, fucking please, man. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Liam, right? oh, please, Liam, please. Liam, please, please. Okay? Please, okay? please, please. Are you okay? Please, please. Hey. Oh, it's 11 to 12. What'd you got? Ooh. What happened? What was the wish? Can't tell you. Then won't come true. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> Sounded really serious. He's right. No, he's. I'm sorry. He's. He can't tell us. But as much as we want to help him, we. If he tells us, it won't come true. And it seemed like to me, he needed that to come true. <laughs> yeah. Can we at least know if it came true? How about this? Can we guess and you tell us if we're hot or cold? Oh yeah, I'd like that. Um, you wanted all your bone marrow gone. Cold. Damn. You wanted your your dingle to gain girth. Warmer. Warmer. <laughs> you wanted your dingle to gain length. Warmer. You wanted your dingle to change colors. Hot. You I wanted your dingle to change ideas. Mm-hmm. Yes. I don't want to puke when I come. <laughs> <laughs> well, every time I come, I puke. And I wish just for my family's sake and for my relationships going forward, if I could just not gag and puke every fucking time I come. Gagging, we could help you with. Great. Now it's not going to come true. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's as far as it goes. I like that. What's his name again? Oh, I forgot to give myself a name. It's, uh, sometimes you don't give yourself a name. Yeah, that's all right. You don't need one sometimes. Mm, mm. I do like that, and I also really appreciate that all the, the people commenting like that uh, you give a full name even when it doesn't matter at all. No, no, I like that. I That's something that when I was here last time, didn't do any names. None of us did any names, and that was something I feel like I really missed out on. Well, y- if you come up with one for your guy coming up here, it'd be great. I actually have one that has a bit of a... Um, Bit of a visual aid to it. We love those. Those are great for the the cut downs. Uh, And this is... This character Mm -hmm. is named Peeber Dinklage. (laughs) And it's spelled PBR, like Pabst Blue Ribbon. Dinklage. PBR Dinklage. (laughs) And um, Peeber is attending his friend Kevin's um, retirement barbecue. Okay. 
<laughs> Pick my gift. Oh, Bieber, come on, man. You didn't <laughs> hey, re anything. read the card first. Hey, read, <laughs> read the card oh, first. Oh, it's heavy. All right. Yeah, it's got a little heft to it. <laughs> yeah. You didn't have to let's, give me anything. Let's, now it's let's, expensive let's, and you deserved it because you, you put how many years in at the firm? Oh, God. Uh, damn near half my life. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but they paid me for it. Hey, that's right. <laughs> yeah, we all pay. We all pay eventually. <laughs> yeah. Kevin, I made this for you and only you. Thank you. Please be chill when you open it, Peaver. Ah, you're the best man. <laughs> Cute <can't>. little dog. <laughs> Looks like Snowball. It does. <laughs> yeah. Let's get in there. Just please be chill. So I, that's so I've been putting out you I've been putting it on your doorstep like you've been putting out garbage and it's and I made it for you I peed white for you I peed white only for you and I've been peeing white for you for almost a year. I, be, I, pee, I pee white for you for almost a year and you just every time I put it on your doorstep it winds up in the garbage and I don't know and I know that it's got a little bit of a pink hue to it and that's because it's you know when you when you save up enough eventually the the the, 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 pee, the white pee on the bottom goes rot gets rotten and so the bottom the bottom the bottom white piss got rotten so the top white piss should be fresh so as long as you do the only the top white piss you should be fine is this calm this is a gallon of your cum this is well it's not quite a gallon <laughs> It's four fifths of a gallon. Um, <laughs> Did you spill that on the walk? Was that was on the the walkway when I came in here? No, I no, I didn't spill anything. I I dumped. Up, there's part of it that I gotten. It becomes so, oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. can I get in there? Yeah. Yeah. It's not all just me either. Oh, it's me and my my dad. My, my dad's my dad's <laughs> NASCAR friend. It's so dirty. There's dirt all over. And and, that, and you have no one to blame by that for that for but yourself because you keep every time I put it on your doorstep you keep putting it out by the garbage to, like as though it's garbage but it's not. It's for you and I made it just for you. It's white piss. It's white piss and it's for you. I white pee for you and I white piss only for you and I save it and I give it. And you keep putting it in the garbage. It's not garbage. You said your dad's NASCAR friends? My dad's my dad me, my dad, my dad's NASCAR friends. That's what <laughs> And honestly, you can do with that. You can do anything you want with that. Did you just drink that? Yeah, well. Can you see how you're going to die? It'll <laughs> <laughs> make me stronger. No. no. I like how you wrote, you wrote come on both sides. Well, I didn't know which side. He was going to pull it out of the bag. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah. Oh. And because there's times when it's in the fridge, because I keep it refrigerated so it stays good, <laughs> uh, that, we, that it's next to like, I don't know, a gallon of milk. And I don't want to not know which one is which there's a there's quite a bit of blood in here so <laughs> that's, no that's just one of my dad's nascar friends has kidney stones <laughs> <laughs> holy shit dude. That was so good. oh it, dude that was a nuclear bomb it's the best character that's ever been done on this podcast that's so good Peeber Peeber Dinklage and my Peeber. dad's NASCAR friends is the greatest detail of all fucking time the PBC please, please be please be chill, be chill, be chill. holy I, fuck I asked you to be chill <laughs> I wrote in uh, that's something I forgot to do I know I was waiting for that <laughs> please be chill please be chill holy oh, shit oh yes oh yes oh yes please be holy chill holy fuck that's there forever now uh I will say I was I went and purchased that card today and I was in the card section looking at different cards to give and I saw another one with a pup just a puppy's face on it and I opened it but it was one of those ones that had like a bark 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 bark, 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 bark which I was like I do like that it's barking but I need you to be able to read yeah the message just please be chill I <laughs> Can't breathe, and I'm speechless. Uh, <laughs> please, be chill. please be chill. Oh, I, I'll man. tell you what, though. I tried to. I asked a worker at Vaughn's, "Do you have any food coloring?" <laughs> and they brought me to the baking section that I was already looking in, mm -hmm. and just pointed me to um, little tubes of like cake icing. Like, not food coloring. Oh, the guy yeah, was like, yeah, yeah. Eh, we have this. And I'm like, yeah, that's like red gel icing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, I need like food drop coloring. <laughs> and he's like, we have this. I was like, oh. 
so you don't have any food coloring. <laughs> like this, that, that would be like me being like, "Hey, uh, do you guys have any beer here?" And they'd be like, "We have, we have milk." <laughs> <laughs> then, you, oh, you don't have any. That would be the answer. No, we don't have that. What were you gonna drop in there? A little red. A, a little bit more red. I just ended up buying a red Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a little mixture. Dude, it stunk. It, it smelled <laughs> really bad. It smells bad. bad. Yeah. It, I bought it well, today. Well, it's a gallon of cum. So. It's a gallon of good cum. Oh, my God. Well, probably only the top layer is good. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom layer is all rotten. It's all rotten. <laughs> bottom layer is all white piss is all rotten. <laughs> white piss is also a, like a violent way to describe cum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. White piss, anytime I pee white, to me, feel good. <laughs> Emily, you got a character? I'm, I didn't mm-hmm. bring one today because I thought that you guys were going to overpower the characters, so I was going to save it for an episode with just the three of us. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't want to put pressure on you, but I want to empower you to feel like you can character I, whenever you want a character, yeah. but I don't want to put pressure on <laughs> your character. Because you know your boy came locked and loaded. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. not. I just, I, I'm, I can't. I guess my next one has to be good because I'm two for two, and so I'm really... Two for two in what regard? Your poop mixing character. See, Wait. I think you need a big swing and a big miss. Uh, that was uh, last week. The fucking grain silo character. Oh, that was a few weeks ago. That was Not last week. Yeah. So yeah, that made no sense. It was incoherent. Are was you saying mess. that 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 made it two for two? That grain silo character. Yeah. Because that detracted the first one. Yeah. I that, cancel that. that yeah, out. you were one for one, and then okay, so I'm you zero did the grain zero. silo, and you were zero for two. So I'm negative. Okay. My body's oh. in a state of shock from the gallon of cum still. I did. I got jittery. Um, what's bad about the gallon of cum? Uh, Peeber, Peeber Dinklage is the name of the character. The, the, the difficult thing about it was that I needed to, uh, to leave to drive here today. And I told my wife, who I love, mm-hmm. hey, I have to leave early. I got to go buy a, a thing for a bit today. And she says, oh, what's the bit? <laughs> and I explained the bit, and she said, don't do that. <laughs> oh, that's what she said. She was like, don't do that. Don't spend money to do that. <laughs> and I'm like, no, no, no. In my head, it'll work. <laughs> it She's like, don't. <laughs> I'm like, I probably need to buy a Sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> I love how crude the handwriting was. <laughs> yeah. what, did, I, you, did you put the Sharpie in? Like you, uh, like, it isn't even Sharpie. It's just pen, and I will tell you straight up, no lie, I wrote the cum. And the card while I was driving. <laughs> Here. Yeah. It looked like he wrote the card. I wrote it on my lap as I was driving. Yeah. But not that my handwriting is much better normal. I, are, are you guys have good handwriting? No. no. You probably do. You do? I do. I have terrible handwriting. And I remember one time in college, I had a history professor tell me, you have the messiest legible handwriting. I've ever seen. That's such a compliment. To me, that's such an unneeded diss. I'm like, if you, if it's legible, fuck you. Yeah. (laughs) You know what I mean? Where it's like, that's being like, you're the ugliest hot person. (laughs) Where it's like, if I'm hot, that's it. If if you can read it, why comment that it's bad? I had a buddy whose handwriting, I'm not like saying this to be funny. It legitimately looked like someone with special needs (laughs) grabbed a pen like and white knuckled it. And like only move their elbow to write the letters. I'm it was far insane. Off. And he was a, he was in co- he went to college. It's bad. Your dad goes to college. What's the <laughs> yeah, sorry? What was that from? I don't know. Anchorman or something. I don't know anything, dude. Oh, I got a character. Uh, please. Yes, please. I want to hear. I knew we knew you came. Locked. I wanted away. to. I, I I was going through my notes app of things that are utterly useless to me in any other place. Mm-hmm. So I was like. The, the boys and Emily will appreciate this garbage. Yeah, we'll take we'll eat the gristle. We'll take the gristle. Chew that gristle off that that <laughs> yummy steak. That's where the flavor is. Mm-hmm. Um, this character is um, for me and you, Liam. And this character is named Pee Pee Poo Poo Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> I wet my whistle. And as a setup, you are a grieving widower. Coming to a spiritual um, medium, a clairvoyant, to be able to contact your wife on the other side. Okay. So good to see you, my child. Thank you. I'm. I'm just looking to do anything. If I just want to talk to her one more time. I, I hear that. I hear that. And here's the thing. 
I feel her in the spiritual realm. And if you'd like for me to call her forth into this room, I'm happy to do that. Please. Her name's Megan. Okay, Megan. Megan. Yup. Yup. She's here? She is here. She's in this room. Megan is in this room. <laughs> with an H? She spells it with an H? Yeah. yeah that yeah. came through. Megan is in this room. Would you like to know? Just tell her I love her. And... One second. One second. Okay. Um, your wife, Megan, right now is just deep throating my cocker. <laughs> she's she's sucking my penis right now as we speak so 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 hard honestly so hard i don't like it it's too hard what? it's too hard she needs to stop stop what? just like let, let, it's just too much it's just too much suction what the fuck so she's here with us and she's giving she's looking up at me like she's loving it <laughs> she's looking up at me doing like the doe eyes like this like she's <laughs> loving it tell her, she's absolutely loving tell it. her stop it stop stop Megan, stop. Tell her, tell her to stop sucking your dick. So this is her speaking, not me. And my penis, again, in her mouth, full blown. I'm getting close. She wanted me to tell you, uh-uh-uh, here's a real man. Uh-uh-uh, here's a real man. She said it twice, and she did a <laughs> finger wave towards you right now. Okay. Okay. So she, okay. Just, I just told her to stop sucking. And she did. Okay? Okay. I told her. Um, I told her. I communicated in the spirit realm, to your wife, Megan, with an H, to, to come over to you, okay? So I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to feel, are you feeling anything? Are you feeling anything on your body right now? If you are, please describe what you're able to feel. I think she's holding my hand. She's actually, she's sucking my dick still. <laughs> she, never left. she never stopped. She never, ever stopped. She just keeps deep throating. She's crying. She's gagging. I'm telling her to just lighten up. She's just going so hard. She's going too deep. She's taking all of it, and she needs to take less. She needs to take less of it, because if she does so much, she's going to keep crying and gagging, and then where do we get? Stop! Please stop having the ghost of my life suck your dick, man. Stop. Please, Megan, stop! I want you to stop. She stopped, okay? God. She's now in the middle of the room. She's not sucking my hard, hard, eager dick <laughs> anymore. She's now in the middle of the room, and she is surrounded. Oh. She's surrounded by all of the Beatles except Paul McCartney. That's right. Ringo just died, and he's here in this room now, too. He just died. That's hot off the press news. He's in this room, and they're all, they're all, well, yeah. Yep, I see you guys. What? They're what? all masturbating into a champagne flute. <laughs> They're all masturbating into a champagne flute, and she's on her knees, and she's going like this, like she wants the champagne flute. She wants to drink the champagne flute, and she's doing it, and she's doing it down in one. She took it all three of the Beatles loads down in one from a champagne flute. I love the Beatles. And now, oh, she looked at me, and she said, and you want him to tell me, you want me to tell him that? And you want me to be the one who has to tell him that? Don't tell me. You want me to be the one who has to tell him that? I don't want to know. Your son is not your son. <laughs> your son's not yours. Your son is not yours. Michael? What what the what the fuck is she talking is it, about? Who whose is it? Okay, Dave Navarro. Are you familiar with who Dave, Dave Navarro is? He was in, briefly in the Red Hot Chili Peppers. He's a guitarist in Jane's Addiction. He also had that show like LA Inc. or some shit. I don't I don't know if that was his show, but he had like a reality show about tattoo artists. Apparently your son's real father is um, Dave Navarro. <laughs> I can't breathe. I don't, I, uh, oop, 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 oop. And your it. wife is just, your wife is sitting on your lap right now. Can you tell her? Can you ask her? Dad, can you tell her that I love her? My son Michael's here. Hey, I'm Michael. Could you tell her that? I'm not getting Michael. Michael is not coming through for me. No, I just mean right Did here. he pass? Oh, you were here. Yes. Sorry, 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 sorry. No, you're fine. Sorry. <sighs> I have to turn it on and off. <laughs> what do you want me to tell her? Can, can you just tell her that no matter what, no matter what, no matter what, I love her and we miss her very much and and that I'm... I'm She's sucking my dick again. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, that was, oh, so that was the best that one I've so ever seen. Fun. That was so good. God. Holy shit. How are you so good? I'm just so good, you guys. I'm just he's so just good. The, he's just, that's how he Fuck. is. Fuck. Sometimes you got to buy a gallon of milk in advance. <laughs> Sometimes you got to have an old bit. Holy about shit. Sucking, about someone, your wife sucking your dick. Fuck. Have you done that before anywhere? I have. That is a bit <laughs> I've done. But I love that bit. And I was like, I'll do it. We, I'll read. It's gotta, awesome. You got to repackage a good one. Hey, what was the name of your... We were, I was trying to show Billy and Chet earlier. The name of your sketch group that you used to be in and you did the Joker video. Or I'm sorry, the uh, Batman video. So that was... So when I was in Chicago, my, my sketch guys that I used to do stuff with all the time was called the Newport Hounds. We mm. lived on <laughs> Newport Ave in Chicago. So I make some um, sketch stuff with my boy Tom Bell, who's he's killing it. He's so funny. You should have yes. Tom on the show. Yeah, you should I, have Tom I follow on the show. Tom. I love his videos. Tom is so 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 funny. So funny. Um, he's the best. But we, I make videos with Tom. But then in college, uh, there was a group at our college called Baby Mountain, mm. and they made they had that Joker, uh, the Batman bad the guys Batman video. bad guys video, which we. It got like put on back in the day when college humor or yeah. what was like a thing. We got like right when the Dark Knight came out, that like that video popped off, and that was my first experience of like the internet likes our video, yeah. dude. Like, yeah, but it was fun. Edge used to work at college humor. Hmm. Edge used to work at college humor. Did you? No, no, Alex. Alex Edge. Oh, really? Producer. That makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, oh. it's a. Uh, it was definitely freaking cool cool thing back in the day wow another one liam oh no i didn't mean it like that i just meant like holy fuck another so one much. will has this fun bit he does where uh if i drink around him he pretends to the people around us that i'm an alcoholic and he's worried about me one time we were hanging out with my girlfriend and i was really worried that because i had been getting a little drunk a couple of nights earlier sure and he was doing it and i was so yeah terrified. I, didn't, I didn't realize <laughs> They had just started dating too. I was, <laughs> I was like, dude. Please. So this is a bit you do, do because he he phrased it in such a way that he really genuinely needs help. <laughs> no, no, I'm okay. <laughs> we just love Jose yeah, Cuervo so much. Love Cuervo. <sighs> Wait, have you ever done the uh, the clairvoyance on stage? No. No, not to be that guy. That could be a fun little bit. I hate. Could I hate do it. a fun little. I hate bit. it that I told you. Could be a what, fun. What little do you bit? mean not to be that guy? That's like you should do that as a bit. Wait, I do that no. to you all the time. What do you mean? Yeah. Tell, you guys love that joke. Tell me, uh, tell me, Will has so many good bit ideas for my act. I always, I always. Why don't you do act? When I, when I get, get, him, get him. Why don't you do act? I can't. Why? I give him all my material. Why though? Why? Because he does it so good. He does do it so Pull good. Pull up the list I sent you. Will got me. He. Uh, I always text him like this would be a good bit. Too, uh, too much laundry. Yeah. Good. There's, bit. Always, there's always so much laundry. There's too much technology. Man. It's always changing. Uh, having a mattress for too long. That one I don't think actually would work anymore. Yeah, it's a little outdated now. Yeah. Um, Not woke. Grocery stores. Yeah, so much good crap there. Um, driving, like traffic. Yeah, 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 like traffic and driving. and you maybe, I, maybe I should just do it. Now you that should. I'm saying it out loud. I would love to watch you do a stand-up or like a sketch thing Some, I've done, like a live characters thing i've done stand-up once and it was i i really enjoyed it but i don't ha i like i don't think i could deal with not doing well i think that if i had one bomb i would quit it would destroy you yeah just because i'm like i have something wrong with me it doesn't feel good it doesn't but what's fun and reassuring is that no matter who you are there is a bomb waiting for you in the distance. You that know is, what I mean? Like, that is funny. Because there's a lot of things that are outside of your control, you know? Like, sometimes, like, the person that goes up in a show before you salts the earth. And, like, <laughs> it's it's really, like, I, I don't know, last night. last night. Yeah. The person that goes up before you ruins the whole vibe. And then you have to go up <laughs> after them. And everyone's like, we don't like it. <laughs> there was a lot of hatred spewed before you got up here. And you didn't listen because you were talking to agents. I was real uh, embarrassed that you saw that. <laughs> and then, here's the thing. I didn't see a single bit of it. Because if I had acknowledged it and thrown you under the bus, would have mm -hmm. been fine. Would have won them right over and been like, what about, hey, nice set, you limp dick chud. <laughs> that would have won them right back over and I would have 
<laughs> weaned up. But I didn't. I came out because I was in my own little world, and I came out and I did my thing, and I was like, "What's? Why is the vibe such poo poo in here?" <laughs> you know, I, 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 part of the problem, I think, was last night that I was uh, I was just doing a guest spot, so I was only doing five minutes. That's and tough. I, and I did. I opened with my suicide bit, which usually takes a while to get them back on. Yeah. And then that I didn't have the time. I don't think you start with uh, <clears throat> unaliving. Unaliving. Right. Right. For right. the algo, you need to say that. Ah, we were yeah. talking about. This has kind of just been kicked around for like eight months now, but like a live sketch show. Love that. Maybe love our that. maybe our friend Luke Knoll joins in. <laughs> These maybe old rags. Comes, maybe, I'd love to. Maybe Luke comes in. And what do you mean a live show? sketch show? Like a uh, live sketch comedy. That's cool. Thanks for chiming in. No, I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> well, I want to do a <laughs> now, live podcast show, so you're not gonna uh, you're not gonna so do I. step Let's... on my ideas. Yeah, I told Luke we're gonna, we're gonna do one at the UCB. And I would love yes, it. we should. You you please, would please be and, we, and we need we need a big we need a big five star name to join us Each with a lot of firepower, a lot of horsepower, chip on his shoulder, with a big engine in his brain, who's willing to, I don't know, go to Vons and purchase a gallon of milk, <laughs> pour a little bit out of it, purchase a red Gatorade, mix them together in a way that it's a little bit off. You can see the hue yeah. is off. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. And so we got carrot top. <laughs> Actually, All Carrot Top would murder on this pod. Oh, you'd be the, the amount of prop bits we do. Yeah. So, what's up with the X uh, over there? That's for Emily. Do you not remember this? Emily, do we, do we have this when he was? Emily on used to get real uppity. <laughs> she still does. She's a brass bitch. <laughs> She's a battle axe. <laughs> no, she starts saying dumb shit like, "Oh." I, I can't believe that we have to go to school when there's a war in Ukraine, and then we would do <laughs> this. Like, yeah. hey, stop saying dumb I've shit. Her done. Ukraine bit was one of the craziest takes I've it, ever heard. No, we cut it. We cut oh, it. yeah, we cut it out. It was so crazy. We cut I remember there was something like 9-11 happened, and Emily was like, we were, we were talking about 9-11 with Auntie Donna guys, nice. and Emily was like, I saw I'm not that. trying to be mean. It was very funny. Yeah, what did I say? But no, we can't. they were I like, they were like, yeah, we, cut it again. we didn't have school because like 9-11 happened, and Emily just goes, yep. We're like, what the fuck are you talking about? And I, we just. I'm bleeping that. You can't. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, I'll give you something to bleep right now. No, get the bleep button ready yes, for this yes, guy. Yes, yes, I lived in New York City. This is true. For a whole year. I went down there where all the people said that 9-11 happened, all this stuff, all these big towers, two, twin towers. Oh, I went no. down there. There's nothing down there. <laughs> There's nothing down there, so there's no proof that <laughs> shit ever even fucking happened. <laughs> like, it's just a big... I went down there a big fucking hole, no tower, no nothing. So, <laughs> sorry, pal, I don't buy it. <laughs> I don't buy it. How about that? Just a big empty parking lot. It's just, I'm sorry, prove it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? Sorry. Holes in the earth. That's it. <laughs> and a fountain. And a fucking forever fountain. <laughs> It's not like there's like a memorial or anything. I certainly, I don't know what the fuck's <laughs> down there. Emily? I knew the second I opened my mouth I was going to get so judged. Taking a quick break to talk about BetMGM. You guys know we love BetMGM. The NBA finals are happening. Liam. NHL finals? Well, yeah, but I'm not a hockey guy. I know you are. You bet on NHL. I bet on NBA. And we actually fund the podcast with our winnings from BetMGM. It's true. Believe it or not. And if you if you use promo code BEERS, you can get up to $1,000 risk-free bet on your first bet. That cannot be real. $1,000 risk-free bet on your first bet if you use promo code BEERS. It's real, and it's real. Use promo code BEERS, BetMGM app. It's very simple and easy to use. Just remember, you got to be 21 years of age or older to use it. You can only bet in a state where sports gambling is legal. And if you do have a gambling addiction, there is a number you can call. There are resources. There's resources. Guys, just do your research. And gamble responsibly. Let's get back into the episode. Hey, we had a lot of fun. Yeah, this was good. Luke. So much fun. This you're was fun. A, you're, you're touring around. You're doing a bunch of spots. I am. I'm doing a Tell bunch. Tell everyone. They got to come see you live. It's so fun. You know what I would do if I were you and I'm listening to this? I've made it this far into the podcast. Mm -hmm. I'd get a life and touch grass. Yeah. <laughs> touch but grass, no, you no. fucking <laughs> pussy. No, no I, would, I would personally go to any of my social media pages and then eventually be filtered to LukeNull.com to see where I'm touring and where I'm coming next. LukeNull.com. Yeah, yeah, all the hot tour dates there. Oh, my gosh. I'm touring around. I'm doing all sorts of stuff. Hey, if you ever need an opener, that's going to ruin the vibe. Hard pass. Yeah. Hard pass. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you quit stand-up. <sighs> yeah, well. 
Or no, I just thought you should. Quit should, 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 yeah. Should. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. I've been, I've been getting some feedback. For the listeners that are listening to this while they're driving, oh, think about how easy it would be. You just have to move your hands a little bit and it's all over. Just tilt it a little to that the left. That is true. If you're over. driving right now and you see something that could be construed as a ramp, turn the wheel and go off the ramp and end it in a fun, cool way. Look then all your, fri- all your bullies off LinkedIn, they'll have to know the way you ended it with all those connections and all that. <laughs> It'd be so easy. It's, 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 you don't like this. You don't like... Where are you going? You don't want to go there. You have to go there. Don't. Just turn. The burbit. My hands are here. Driving home. Nothing fine. Turn oh, my yeah. hands here. I'm on the 5 o'clock news. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, should, we, should we just do a harmony and then get out of here? Yeah. <laughs> I like that you guys are just matching pitch. Thank That's you. not a harmony at all. What is a harmony? Harmony is when you would do a nut... Like, Sing something. Don't talk down to me. Explain Ooh, it. I'm explaining. Uh, but where you would layer, you would do another note. I feel stupid now. No, no, no. Do a note. Do a note. I'll, I'll do it. Just uh, sing it. Uh, and that's called activating <laughs> your Manchurian kid. <laughs> you kind of have a nice voice. I have to go kill Joe Biden. <laughs> what the hell? I got to kill freaking Joe Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. I don't want to kill Joe Biden. He's doing but, I, but I gotta. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you so much for coming on. And uh, again, just making it the best episode. Luke, I like having you on, and I can't wait for uh, a month or two from now when you come on again. Try to do. Don't just sit. Don't just sit and wait. Do something at home. Yeah. No promises. Hey-o. Oh. Thanks. <laughs>